Hello everyone, how are you all doing? It's been another week, and that means it's time for another weekly update. So finally, after months and months of work, Chetwood is finally done, and this forest is big, and I mean really big. Um, a lot of the work has been done over the last few days by one of the builders, Adam, and as well as loads of other builders and artists who helped to plant all of these trees. But don't get me wrong, this forest is massive. The only way I can actually show you guys how big the forest actually is is to look at dynamic map. Um, just to get the idea of the scale, Bree is here. Um, this is Bree right here, this, this area here. Uh, we've got the farms on the Bree Hill, and we've actually got all the villages that we've shown off in previous videos over here. So we've got an archit over here, another village, and this here is a forest. We've got a few cool things in the forest, a few things you can find, such as ruins, a bandit camp. Uh, campfire and if we scroll down to the bottom here you can see the excavation site and you can actually see a new area of land and that area is the Barrow Downs which is just south of Bree. It gets its name from the amount of barrows which you can see scattered across uh, the map here. Uh, these are evil tombs which we hope to allow players to explore. Uh, these are ancient tombs which once great men which would have fallen during the second age to the Witch King. This area we hope will be a cool place which players can explore, quest and adventure through. Just to quickly show you guys one of the things we have inside of Chetwood, we have here one of the bandit camps which we've made. I'm just going to show you quickly what sort of thing we've got here and we can actually see some sort of spirit ritual going into a di another dimension. Um, just jump in, oh better not, that seems quite dangerous. Obviously tons of houses have been added to Bree as well, there are tons of new cool looking houses inside of Bree and well this wouldn't really be a Bree update without showing off a few houses as well. So I'll just show you guys off some of the new houses which we've added in here, so I'm just going to fly down here and all of this section here is all brand new and oh we've got some stables here and the horses uh, seem to want to stand on top of this, try and move them off, but get down there. Sticking your own pen, get a closer tour there, get them just far away. Um, so yeah, I'll just show you guys off um, one house in particular, let's just go into one at random, and just show you guys the interior, uh, all the houses we make all have interior, at least any of them that doesn't will eventually have interior put into them, which are indicated by the blue dots, uh, which we are trying to produce, uh, some bedrooms there, uh, another bedroom, yeah. Once you've seen one house, you've really just seen them all. Uh, all the interior is unique, however it'll probably be boring to just show you guys interior in the video So I'm just going to keep it to a minute and just show you guys one for now Something else that we have added, if we just go south of Chetwood all the way to the bottom There is the Forsaken Inn and we've got a few spooky houses as well We just jump down and show, so all of these are sort of corrupted and sort of forsaken spooky <laughs> style houses if we fly over here, we've actually got the Forsaken in, which I'll be completely honest, is just uh, copied the template over from the Prancy Pony Inn. However, we've changed a few of the blocks, we've made it all ruined. We'll just have a quick look inside because the, the inside is all different and it's all spooky. Um, this is actually done from um, using, what is it? It's pistons, sorry. I forgot the name of it then. We just got pistons that we cut off the top of it to just get the base. So it hasn't actually got the bit that pushes it up. Actually, I'm kind of interested to find out what happens if we power it. Oh, it already is powered. Okay, fair enough. So this is a powered piston, believe it or not, which doesn't actually have the top of it. Um, so yeah, let's just leave this place now before we get the spooks, if we can find the way out. Oh god, uh, I've lost I've lost the entrance. There it is, it's over there. My bad. Okay, let's come out of here, close the door, because we don't want to let any ghosts and ghouls out. So that's what I really have to show you guys for this week. I hope you have enjoyed it, even though it was probably one of the briefer episodes. Next week, though, we have got something very, very exciting. So please, please, please stay in, stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't done already, like, comment, whatever you have to do. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you all.